aim to configure the garbage from the surrounding and make compost by using degradable garbage material all collected garbage spade shovel etc introduction students are you all aware that garbage disposal is a major problem faced by us today so through this experiment let us try to find a solution to this problem of garbage disposal and make our surroundings cleaner basically what is garbage which things would you include as garbage in simple words anything that is not required by us and that which we would like to discard can be called as garbage this waste includes kitchen waste paper plastic metals glass rubber electronic items dry leaves from the garden hospital waste etc all this waste cannot be disposed of by the same method hence configuration or classification of waste is necessary how to classify waste that is collected from various sources waste is classified as biodegradable and non biodegradable their disposal methods have to be different the biodegradable waste such as kitchen waste dry leaves etc can be decomposed and good quality compost can be obtained for non degradable waste like paper plastic metals glass or rubber recycling or reuse of items would reduce the garbage now let us see how to perform this practical of garbage management procedure students perform this practical in a group of 10 to 50 clean your classroom and school campus what kind of waste are you going to collect from the classroom and the school campus paper plastic bags wrappers discarded food items from tiffins glass articles from laboratory dry leaves from the school garden even some old computers and other electronic parts etc would be a part of garbage configure or classify this garbage as biodegradable and non biodegradable under the guidance of your teacher now dig a pit of suitable dimensions approximately 3 feet broad and 4 feet deep in one corner of the school campus remember this area should be isolated transfer all biodegradable waste you have collected into this pit cover it with a layer of soil and sprinkle some water over it repeat this process and fill the pit you can keep on adding layers of waste in this pit regularly till the pit is filled now cover the pit with a layer of cow dung and water finally cover the cow dung layer with a soil layer sprinkle water on this after every 2 days to keep it moist after about a month check the contents from the pit you will not see any waste that was added by you in the pit instead you will find a dark brown or black compost formed in the pit now the compost from the pit is ready for its use this compost can be used for plants from the school garden grow some plants without adding compost and add compost to some plants note the difference in the growth pattern of those plants based on the following criteria garbage configuration table prepare a table to classify garbage collected from school into two groups as biodegradable and non biodegradable garbage The table given below is just an example. Your list may have different items in it. Now, students, you have added compost to some plants and some are grown without adding compost. Let these plants continue to grow for some days. Then note the difference between their growth pattern based on some criteria. Now, students, can you use this method of composting elsewhere? Definitely, yes. compost can be prepared by this simple method in your own house residential complexes and even at workplaces by following this practice of preparing compost we can practically decompose all the biodegradable waste and keep our surroundings clean in turn we can keep our city and our nation garbage free